it's spooky time! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> the level. Daddy need a sofa. <laughs> no, Daddy doesn't need anything. Uh, the <laughs> Wants that chat. Don't screw it up. Don't screw it up. Yes. <laughs> she doesn't know I'm about to read it live on stream. There oh, we go. No. She, she sent the pamphlet back. To go, and we were on like one of the last days we were there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my car's in a video game. <laughs> Mom, you really don't have to lie. Okay, I know it's Mom. you. Thanks, buddy. You're uh, literally our only viewer, so <laughs> thanks for joining. Oh, oh, that's disturbing. I think. <laughs> oh, oh. I just got it. Yay, oh, hey, I, hi, we I did it, everybody. I, I crashed it with Kyle's. Oh, we are, something is blowing up. This no! is great. <laughs> well, at least our baby boy is in there. Yes! Dude! Yes! Karen came in clutch! Oh my gosh. Coming in. Get her. She's Come down. on! She's down. She, oh, there's, someone, there's someone else. There's someone else. There's... Yes! yes! Oh, oh man! <laughs> I probably woke the baby up. Oh, I'm in so much trouble. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and thank you for joining yet another special stream. It's my newscaster voice, because, baby, I've got some news. Will, do you know what my news is? My, my news is? News is? Well, the weather out here, Ken, is looking fantastic. <laughs> uh, it's a low-pressure system. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. <laughs> I have been drinking. Um, <laughs> folks, I got it. It's here. It's an enormous box. It literally can't even. There we go. It's true, folks. I did get it. My prize from the mini game game show. <laughs> well, there it is. That's the big part. The RTX 3080. Um, we talked about it on local chat. Go watch that episode if you want to know the details of how I got it, how much I had to spend, and how I uh, used a cheat code to to make it slightly less painful. I can't believe that. I I'm just like so happy because there was literally no way I was going to get one otherwise. Just not going to happen. Um, but I installed it. I actually installed this yesterday. Oh, look at that. You got a little... Is that It's the new Batmobile. Oh. It's the new Batmobile. Ugh. It's the new Batman. I don't want to talk about that Batman. Stop job, I don't want to talk about Batman. I, uh, Will, you did, some, you did some work recently with your computer, right? Like uh, a year ago? Is that right? Didn't you do a CPU upgrade? No. Uh, yes, but also this year I bought a new case and power supply. Oh, that's right. Yeah. And put everything into that. Yeah, so for this I think one, my computer sucks, and I need to. F I think I need to reinstall Windows. Yeah, because you have like a brand new. You basically have a new everything. Because you're you're rocking a 2070 Super, right? Yeah, yeah, I've been having a lot of issues with like icons blinking, and then like, I had a huge thing with Chrome today where if I turned off hardware acceleration, videos buffered. But if I turn, but v oh, oh, there's no VSync or that anything, and like videos. Sounds like a GPU issue. And then if I turned off hardware acceleration for Chrome, everything had VSync issues, but YouTube videos played. Yeah, I would try to reinstall Windows because if you need a new card. I I'm just going to throw it out there. I bet a 2070 Super used is about six hundred dollars right now. <laughs> Anyways, um. <sighs> Yeah, so I did the install yesterday, and I was kind of dreading it because, number one, I knew my case was very dusty. Uh, number two, I had a 650-watt power supply in there, which is the bare minimum for the 3080, and I was, like, not going to cut it. So I had to buy an 850-watt power supply. So basically, I had to swap out the video card, and I had to do the power supply, which means you have to reroute all the cables, all the power supply cable. So it's not like a open it up, pop it in, close it. It's like a, uh, but it actually went pretty well. I used a cheat code, which I thought about. 
I came up with my own cheat code. It's not like revolutionary or anything, but it felt really cool. So there's a lot of dust in it, right? And you know about the you know about the canned air. You buy canned air to to clean it out. I was like, oh no, I'm out of canned air. How many cans am I gonna need? Like, I need to clean that out. And then I realized I have a giant canned air in the garage called an air compressor. And I was like, heck yeah, baby. So I literally just like took everything out, took it out in the garage, air compressor at <laughs> 60 PSI. And just for like 15 minutes straight, just completely blew that thing out. Got it back together. Um, I only had two small issues. One was my mon half my monitors weren't working when I booted it up the first time. And I just had to unplug them and plug it back in to the video card that they detected it. And then the other one was um, the card was like, it, it wasn't quite working at full speed. And then there was like this weird like clunk noise. So it would go clunk, clunk. And I was like, what? And then I was trying to look at the fans in the system to see what the fans were doing. I couldn't really tell. So I finally opened the case and that video card is so wedged in there that one of the hard drives is right here. <laughs> and the hard drive oh. power cable, like even though I'd fully bent it, was just tipping up enough to stop the fan. So the fan kept going clunk. <laughs> like every five seconds so i had to like rebend it and like uh, and then so oh. it's just enough because the card's like this big it's enormous it's huge um jeez it's good and then the final thing i'll say on the install is i have my old gaming computer which is an i5 processors it still has 16 gigs of ram in it it doesn't really have any good hard drives in it. i think it just has like a 250 gigabyte ssd in it that i got from somebody else but I threw my GTX 1080 in there. So I technically have like a completely backup gaming PC, which I could use as a streaming PC, but I don't feel like going through the hassle. But for for extra life or anything like that, it's more than powerful enough to like use in the living room instead of having to take my main gaming yeah. machine. So it's like whew, it's it's it was a long hassle, but it was 100 percent worth it. It's working. Let's play some games. Will I share with you a list? Which one would you like me to start off with? I want to see Flight Simulator. All right, let's do it. Um, um, your monitor not working story reminded me. I forgot. I bought a new motherboard as well when I bought mm -hmm. a new case. Uh, and I plugged everything in and turned it on and it would not boot. Oh, I was like, boy. oh, it's always I every single time I build a computer, I forget to plug in the CPU power supply. Mm -hmm. So I was like, oh, it's just that and it wasn't. I was like, couldn't figure out, couldn't figure out. Uh, and finally, I figured out uh, I had to switch it to legacy boot because my oh, main wow. hard drive is still what you calls it. And so UEFI, I actually looked it up. Yeah, you can upgrade that uh, hard drive without wiping it like there's a Windows oh. tool to do it now. So you can just upgrade all of your stuff to the new UEFI stuff. That's pretty and uh, just do it automatically. I think I might do that when I reinstall Windows. Um, yeah, so let's let's. Uh, so Flight Simulator, here's why I picked this game. We played this game when it came out. I previously had a GTX 1080. Um, and I, honestly, I think that's the only they've patched the game since then to improve performance. But also the only difference between running this previously and running this now is the GTX 1080 versus the RTX 3080. And this game ran at 1080p at like 20 to 24 frames per second. It's a very intense game. This is a lot of people consider this the most demanding video game out there right now. Um, they improved it a lot with the performance update. And so I've been playing it. I can basically play this at like 4K Ultra. It's at least 60 FPS. It's probably higher than that. It's really, really good, um, which is phenomenal. I installed some mods. <gasps> Ooh. It took a little bit. It actually, it was complicated installing the mods only because I tried to do the nice thing and use a, a third party mod manager, which introduced issues uh, when it should have made it easier. But I figured it out. I think the big problem is this game has a lot of incredible mods that cost like money. Like they have incredible aircraft that are like 20 bucks each. Um, so some of the freeware stuff isn't great, but, but we'll try it out anyways. Should we go to, uh, where do you want to go? Do you want to go to my new house? Do you want to go to New York city? 
Uh, yeah, we can go to New York City. I think that's a good test. There's a dog in that plane. You weren't supposed to see that. That was going to be a surprise. You piece of shit. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I thought that was... I let's let's kick it off with that one. Let's go to LaGuardia. Uh, I'm going to change flight ugh. to... Ugh. Time of day is going to be... We're going to do clear skies. No, let's do, let's do scattered clouds. I actually... I don't even know what I have this set to. Let's get into the game in it. I will say Parsec is holding this up relatively well. That's good. Cause I I get, I get an occasional alert that there's network performance issues, but it's when you're on a loading screen, so I assume It's probably a loading screen, yeah. It's uh yeah. I also I don't think I've updated Parsec in a while, so could that also could be, be that. It. Let's get in here. I don't know what city this is. Do you know what this is? Uh, this is a dog. Uh, GTN five seven fifty is the city. Looks like uh, like Italy. I was thinking, maybe just... like New Mexico. New Mexico. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, classic, classic will joke. All right, here we go, classic. boys. <laughs> Um, so here's the surprise. There's my little doggy. <laughs> Can you push him out? And he's animated. Um, is he? Oh, he's not like the uh, PNG dog. No. I'm gonna be honest with you. This game still like has terrible controls. Like, you saw the default camera had me like had me like here. Yeah. Um, and it still has some wonkiness, but let's let's have some fun here. What are you in? I'll show you. Ooh. This is a third party plane. In a little That's, bit of, is that a real plane? I think it is. In a little bit of stuttering. That's cool. But so what? Looks good on my end, to be honest. If I'm lying, I'd say it looked like shit. Wow. To take off, gently press joystick. So one of the reasons I really like this plane was they said it's really good at like visibility when you're in the cockpit, mm. which is totally true. We can go see my old apartment. This is uh, this is pretty. Neat. The thing is this this plane is very uh. I'm gonna be trying to flap. Wily. I wouldn't say wily. Yep, it's just, you're uh, you're doing well. It's very fragile. <laughs> Are you gonna land? <laughs> I did. I landed it. Uh, wow. Let's let's go back to the same place, but I want to show you a different plane. It's weird they spelled landed wrong. Hey, didn't we see that in real life? I think we did. I think that was the Icelandic glacier that we saw from really, far away. The really Icelandic glacier. We're gonna choose yeah, the. Them. They have a helicopter now. This is third Ooh, party. Uh, pretty cool. Apparently, they're adding oh, helicopters officially. But it actually controls pretty well. I have a Fokker. But this is the one. F-22 Raptor. Jeez, oh, why does it keep doing that? Let's do it. Um, yeah, so this game, it's it's basically playable now. Before, it was barely playable because of the performance. But now it's like, it's gorgeous. So I don't have to sacrifice quality and it runs really well. I don't think it has ray tracing or anything crazy like that. But honestly, you don't need it with how good this game looks. This is this game looks so good. It's crazy. Yeah, they really just need to polish it in terms of like the user interface is awful. <laughs> the fact that you have to like completely exit out to make any change to your aircraft, etc. And then re go through the loading sucks. It yeah. still has some control wonkiness, like even when you go down to like basic controls, it still has like, oh, you have to go into this menu to do this thing. And it's, it's just crap. This may be. Yeah. <laughs> okay, look. This is a third party mod, but you wouldn't be able to tell because look, as fully functioning. So this is the map. So I'm going to turn on roads and terrain. And is traffic. that just Microsoft Flight Simulator 98 running in that screen? <laughs> in this? <laughs> in the middle screen? Because it just looks like it. 
I I had to fight the urge to cancel this stream and instead do VTOL VR because <gasps> oh it's so good. I fucking love VTOL VR. It's so good. All right, here we go, boys. Mark break off. Uh, I just, uh, this is random, but I just realized my computer background has been the same for like a week. Mm -hmm. And I was trying to figure out why. And I realized I moved all of my files from one hard drive to another. And it just kept the current image and it's never changed it because that file path doesn't oh, exist really? anymore. <laughs> Camera, where am I? Good on you. Sorry, it's probably loud, but I... This is one of those things where it's very hard to tell my flap state. Unless I'm in external camera. Let's go to New York. Yeah, I get you. This looks good. Yeah. It's a little stuttery. I think that may be because I'm streaming. But, oh, you know what? One thing I did want to look at is what, what's my settings. Yeah, the stream's a little stuttery, but it's not too bad. General. My neighbors are like super loud right now. Graphics. It's 384060. VSync on high end. Full anti aliasing. All this stuff is on high. That's probably why it's it's still it's definitely still. It runs it runs at 60 when I'm not streaming. Why was I loading? <laughs> what are you loading? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, it's because I... Look, okay, check this out, right? So if I want to resume, it's not escape. But I look at it and I see space and I immediately hit space. So it's like... Like, there's all these keyboard shortcuts for the things you're not going to hit. But the one <laughs> thing you want to do is resume and you have to go down and click it. It's just stupid stuff like that they keep doing. They want to make sure you do it right. I just, I love Central these pack. displays. These displays are so nice. Oh, God. Oh, man. What if we just played Vito Fio? Oh, God. Please be careful. Oh, yes. I don't like this at all. This is so much better in VTOL VR, though. There is VR in this now. Oh, official or... Yeah. Official. Official. But honestly, I feel like it would suck because there's no... There's no um, touch controls, as far as I know. Uh, so imagine you're in VR, but you have to constantly use the joystick and the mouse. Yeah. Because of how no wonky. Stuff. Yeah, cause, and, and because a lot of the controls are not intuitive at all. That's right, no hand stuff. <laughs> no hand stuff in the plane, please. Um, so what do we, uh, what do you think we play next? Uh, let me check your list here. Whoa! Um, why is Rihanna Rouge on this list? Um, I don't, you know, Minecraft RTX, I oh. think is a good idea. I never put my gear up. Wow. You said Minecraft RTX? Yeah. All right, let me just. Hi! That's where Seinfeld lives. Okay. Let's uh, let's kick it over here. Let's kick I it over the there. Music it plays when you crash. It's like <laughs> tragedy has struck. Minecraft, probably the app. I think that's right. So this is Minecraft RTX. It's officially ray tracing in Minecraft. Um, it's a little wonky. It's only the Minecraft Windows 10 version. Um, it also is not, it doesn't turn on ray tracing period. It is a ray tracing enabled texture pack <laughs> that you can either download and create your own worlds with or you download pre-made worlds with. So it's, it's wonky. Let me put it that way. It's wonky. I put it that way. Um, so I think I have it downloaded. So I have. Oof, man, I really want to play Minecraft. Let's go to Hilltop um, Lifestyle. Imagination Island. 
create this world. It's going right. to. Are you gonna? Uh, I are you gonna be mad at me if I run to the bathroom real quick? No, go ahead. I gotta get this set up anyways. Thanks. <laughs> All settings. We're gonna do creative. We're gonna do it here. So let's load in to Imagination Island. I I'm still I'm still playing with my joystick. I don't need that for this. This is uh this is ray tracing. This is Minecraft ray tracing. Um It looks pretty good. I mean you can see this lava is casting some reflections. What is that down there? Oh that was I don't know if that counts as ray tracing. I don't think that does. The reflection through the through the water. But you can see up here we have the light of the candle. We have the light coming through here. That is coming down here. But I'm not casting a shadow. Let's make sure ray tracing is on. Uh, video. Ray tracing's on. Yeah, so you can see they have more of like a bloom effect than it is like a ray tracing. They also soften the shadows. They're doing a lot of they're doing a lot of creative stuff around here. A little carnival. I have no idea what that sound is, but it keeps happening. So there's some interesting things going on in here, like all the reflections and refractions through this water is really nice. Um, I think the way the colors pop in general is a lot better. You know, like this blue feels brighter because of the lighting change. So what I'll do is I'll... Uh, I'm going to see if I can change... turn on oh, cheats activate cheats always stay oh, no, I'll just turn this off some interesting stuff going on around here I wish it was a little bit brighter out. Can I change that? Cheats. Weather cycle. Always day. That boy's back. Hi. Hi, I'm back. Have you seen uh, Minecraft RTX before? Yes, I watched... Um... I think it was Brad Shoemaker and Gerstman go through it a while ago. Hi, Steven. I gotta be honest with you. I'm not that impressed by this. Like, this this looks good. You know, you get a little bit of it, but then you come out here and it's like, there's absolutely no shadows at all going on around here from this guy. Um... It's, I wish, can you look up how to do cheats in Minecraft Windows 10? Because the tilde isn't popping the console. I'm going to change the weather cycle. Cheats in WindowsMinecraft.com. How to turn on cheats. One, take your pants off. Enable cheats when you start the game. Okay, I think I have cheats enabled. Wait, what does it say there? Is it just in settings? Examples of cheats. Switch to creative mode slash game mode C. 
I do slash weather. Here. Yeah, that's better. Looks like so, I figured it out. So it's it's just yeah. kind of weird. Like it it does look better and brighter, but I I don't think it's like a very artistic style of ray tracing that I don't think works that well. What do you think? Yeah, the one I saw was like the little museum that has all the stuff in oh, it. This and like it has all the examples of ray tracing. So like it has all the yeah window pane glass and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, I think we can load that because like this this stuff looks good. It looks nice having the light come through, but at the same time, like, where's my where's my body shadow? You know? Yeah. So it's it's definitely like a limited version. And th the main reason why I'm saying this is because there is a fake version of ray tracing that does not actually use ray tracing, but it imitates it really well. And it looks a yeah. lot better than this. Um, I I don't feel like booting it up just because I'm not sure I have it working right now, but it is like it just looks phenomenal. So th this this definitely looks better than normal Minecraft, but yeah, like everything do... has like a glow. Yeah, exactly. OK, so like I'll do this and then I'll come into settings. OK, wait, 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 wait. OK, well, do you see this? Yes. OK, close your eyes. Close my eyes. Okay, keep them closed. Closed. They're still closed. Okay, keep them closed. Hello? Are you touching my leg? Okay, turn your eyes on. Ugh. <laughs> yeah, so it's I just... I hate it. It's flatter. It's definitely flatter. No, it looks like crap. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna... This try. is the worst amusement park you've ever, me brought, ever brought me to, oh, Dad. So it's it's one of those things where it's like it's cool to have it in here and this is better than normal, but it's not as good as I was expecting it to be. Oh, can you ride the roller coaster? It's can you ride it? No, I think it was behind you. Is it worth me loading up the test one? Um the one yeah, you're talking about? I guess. Might as well. Marketplace. I have to look for Ray racing. Probably this one, right? Color, light, and shadow. Yes, that looks like it. Free. It's free. Download. You download. got an achievement. Yeah, I can go poop again. Everybody pooping. Hey, everybody pooping. I think for me, this graphics card update was less about ray tracing it's more about playing at 4k because i have a 4k monitor but i could never really plenty of games that i couldn't run at 4k but now i can run a lot of 4k which neon awesome. district looks cool medieval rtx I have to, I portal have to, pioneers to exit this world before i can <laughs> <laughs> man i'm so excited uh, for uh extra life you excited yeah me too I'm excited to play video games. I'm also excited because George is letting me borrow his computer instead of lugging all this shit there. So, oh, that's good. And then uh, you can join in the morning I, more easily. Exactly. And Karen might join from here too. So, that I think that would be better because, yeah, yeah, that'll work. Uh, Chris might be able to. I mean, again, this doesn't hit your thing because it would just be him and I, but I think we might be able to do the Midnight House of Ashes. Cool. Uh, which will be nice. That's I've the been new, avoiding it like the plague. The new Dark Pictures one, right? Yeah, and it reviewed really well, which is nice. Is that the one that takes place in Iraq? Yes. Okay, see, now this is a good showcase of those reflections. That's yeah. Ray Tracing, baby. Realistic reflections. Real time. Realistic and you can do, like... Uh, I wonder if they have a map for it, but... Uh, there's um camera obscura stuff you can do in this game. Oh, that's cool. That's pretty neat. Oh, that's yeah, a see, mirror. This looks way better than yeah. This showcase that's... is way better than the thing you were on. Hundred percent. Like I, I still think it's a little wonky. Like I should be casting it a shadow, like I would yeah. in the normal game. But but also that mirror fooled you. So <laughs> like yes, hundred percent. Because even just like this baseboard, 
how it just has a realistic reflective glare on it. I mean, even just the yeah. floor. Yeah, this definitely. What's to say? Back to lobby. Construction zone. Build your own lamp. Boo. Who wants to be creative in Minecraft? Not me. Oh, my pants are all riding up on me like a See this? Tijuana. I don't know. It's just a lot of underwater animation. It's kind of yeah, cool. but like the looking through the glass sort of thing is. Yeah, that's true. How? Yeah, you like can see a, it there. Like fish effect. Yeah. Yeah. That always bothered me at aquariums. Pretty neato. Oh, let's go to zone three. Zone four. Set time to noon. See, that's Ooh. cool. How it's 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 lighting up the whole room naturally like that. Like if you look at the ceiling, you see how the light is spreading. Yeah. Wow. See, that is Ooh. that that's cool. Is that just outside? Like yeah. That feels very nat. Oops. Okay, on oh, to the next one then. That that's pretty good. This is some sort oh, of... I think I must be getting your gameplay out of the uh, lag. Okay. Uh, what's next? Uh, what do you want to do? You pick one. Let's do uh, Battlefield 5. <sighs> yeah, that works for me. Uh, so Battlefield 5, this is actually the very first ray tracing game announced and shown. Um, game looks beautiful. I will not be showing you ray tracing, but the game still looks great. And the reason why I'm not going to show you ray tracing is when I tried to turn it on today, you have to turn on. There's a couple options. There's like nested options. Like you have to turn on DirectX 12 to turn on ray tracing and DLSS. And as soon as I turn on ray Direct X 12, the game was running. It would run at like 60 FPS and then it would stutter and then it would stutter. And I looked it up and people were just like, yeah, it's just kind of like a known issue. Like DirectX 12 like caches things. So basically the first 15 minutes you play <laughs> the game, it stutters and then it goes away. And it's like, what? <laughs> They're like, yeah, just play for like 15, 20 minutes. And it'll, it'll go back to normal. I'm like, no, I, I don't like this game enough. <laughs> so let me, uh, let's kick this over. I, I will say uh, I'm very um, excited to play Battlefield 2042 with this though. I uh, just remembered I should have told you this because it would have been a great game to look at, which was Metro Exodus would have been good. to see. I was thinking about it, but I remember their version of ray tracing being kind of weird the description of it. I think they changed it with that latest. Oh, they like, did remastered version. All right. So let's just play multiplayer. So this, I believe, is running at 4K. It's like high slash ultra but no no ray tracing but it still looks very good and look i know this is going to sound a little strange but um i was playing a little bit of this i was playing a little bit of warzone yesterday i'm much better at these games now that i'm getting a solid frame rate because <laughs> like, sure because like warzone and uh, apex legends especially if i as soon as I got into combat and started shooting, it would just tank down to like 20. <laughs> and then I would just start losing frames. All right, so let's, uh. Hi. A, B, C, D, E, F. So yeah, this game, this is, ray tracing's not on, but it looks gorgeous. Man, I stumbled into the world of like World War II model 3D printing. <laughs> Yeah. And like vehicles and like all like houses and stuff. And let me just say, I want a resin 3D printer. Um, yeah, they're great. So I can print they? more things. I also stumbled into like a shadow. paying for 3D models 
Oh, it's too like much higher money. quality and stuff. Uh, the website I was going to, Cult 3D, I think. Look at the was shadow. Pretty good, this but... isn't ray tracing, but it looks so good. Sorry, it's just like, oh man, your your gameplay is so far behind you talking to me. And your your audio is stuttering a little bit on my side, which I think is Battlefield being a hog. But look yeah. at how gorgeous this is. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's go kill or die, and then uh, we'll keep playing. But yeah, resin is great. It's just too stinky and too niche of a use yeah. case in a way. I I don't really think I would get a resin printer until I had like a garage to do it in or something. You know? Yeah, hundred percent. Oh. Actually, it's funny. I get your game audio with your voice audio, but the game is way later. Oh, that is weird. Uh, I haven't died yet. I don't know why. Hi, right, we're gonna be friends now, you and me. Did you did? Oh, he oof. Reviving him. I thought he was just stabbing a dead body over there. <laughs> That's what I do. Ow. Oh. oh no. Get over that fence. There you go. Oh. He got him. Yeah, it's a solid six second delay. <laughs> Jeez. That's fantastic. <laughs> Oh, I just got that vehicle. Jeez, that's a lot. Okay, I'll get you up, boys. Whoa. I, can I? That's Battlefield 5, folks. Um, can't wait, wait for Wait, you Battle haven't Fo died yet. Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's do Doom Eternal. Sure. I'm just remembering the games I have on the list. Um, yeah, so now I'm like trying to think of games that I didn't really play that much because I couldn't run them that well. Battlefield's one of them, but I'll just wait for 2040. Excuse me. RimWorld. Man. Final Fantasy 14 in 4K at Ultra. Because when I did 4K, I had to tune it down a bit. Man, I love... I reinstalled that and got the Dragon Quest stuff. Saw that. I haven't touched it since. <laughs> I think I think I'm going to play a little bit of it for extra life. It's a good it's a good time killer. But also um I love games like MMOs or even like RimWorld etc that have a lot of menus and a lot of details. I love playing that stuff at 4K. It's just so good being yeah. like all the windows are open and I still have plenty of space. It's so good. It's like I'm not quite there but with ultra wide, everything's off to the side. Oh, yeah, they, that's that's one of the few things that would make me want to get an ultra wide. That and like racing games. Private networks, private networks, private. OK, I think that's that. Don't worry, stream, I'm coming. I'm coming. <laughs> I knew you were going to do that. Uh, so I tested this out earlier. Let's just kick the campaign off. I didn't finish this one. I never even started it. Man, I was so... I had my timetable. I was so excited for the Forgotten City was coming to Game Pass. And I thought it was today, but it's tomorrow. That's good. I made a mistake. I thought... I thought that Forza Horizon 5 was coming out on the 5th. But apparently that is only like the hundred dollar deluxe version. The standard Game Pass version Oof. comes out like on the ninth or the tenth. And I was like, no, so I can't play that for extra life now. Against all the evil. Okay. Can I skip you? Conjure. All the wickedness that Hi, can I skip can you? Produce. Hi, um we I'm sure you're very important in your much. job, whatever that oh, is, but you. my job is not. Rip and tear. Until it is done. So this is playing 4K. I think I have ray tracing on. And it's running. Pretty smooth. I tested it out earlier. 
things are. There's some rays. Yeah, this game is way too much uh, micromanaging. And I didn't like it. I'm trying to see what my. Yeah, this is running on very good. I bet it is for you. <laughs> I think it's running good for stream too, from what I can tell. It is running great for stream. It is. It is. This is ruining your compression, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> there are so many errors on my computer. <laughs> oh, glory kills. Hi. It's actually very artistic. The blood spatter gets like pixelated, so it looks. Oh yeah. Yeah, this is great. Daddy got a chainsaw. I am uh, speaking of games with menus. Excited for uh, Age of Empires, which comes out Thursday. Oh, it's not. I'm not already. I guess it was just for view embargo drop today. Yeah, I mean, it's technically unlocks tomorrow at like midnight. Really. Gotcha. I think that explodes. This game looks and runs phenomenal. Double jump. Nice. These games are gorgeous. Just makes me want to play Doom 2. Full. I do like this. It's messing around with that. Yeah, earlier. full auto. Okay, let's go party. Hi. Is that a marine? Or is that a zombie? Oh, that's a zombie. Yeah, this is running. There we go. Oh god. So I think something, I don't know how soon you played it after launch, but I think one of the things they did add by default was the, um, Around the reticle, there's supposed to be like a thing that basically tells you what you need at all times. Yeah, they. I think they had that because I didn't play it until it came to Game Pass, gotcha. which I think want to say was earlier this year. Sounds about right. It's just the like the constant worrying. I really didn't like. It's like, I don't really like games that limit your ammo as a difficulty thing. 100%. I don't like games that are difficult, to be honest with you, so. Yeah, that too. You know what I really want to play? And I feel like I'm in a good space to play, but it's not cheap. Keep hitting V and C. Uh, Ratchet and Clank Rip the Fart. Uh, that game is great. I know. I, I'm sure I would love it. I just I think it's still like 40, 50 bucks okay. right now. Oh, can I do the... Uh, can you do the PS5, home PS5 thing and share games that way? That's illegal. But what if we are in the same household? <laughs> See, we have the same shelves behind us. That's right. Dude. I keep forgetting about that. Yeah, um, just on the other side. What's the last game on the list? Their last game. Uh, let me look. Quake 2 RTX. Oh, is this hell? There's, um. 
might be the next level you go to like a big spire and the music there is like this demon chanting it's real this game is like it's very well made but i i think i could learn to hate the whole resource journey like you're talking about yeah I was hurt. Now look at that. Welcome to Earth. The first hell priest has been terminated. The demonic consumption of Earth has been. So this is ray tracing because I can see it on his barrel. See his there barrel. Are two hell remaining. Oh, that's cool. But I, I'm just not a big fan of. I know why people are doing this, but I'm not a big fan of like selective ray tracing like you see this this doesn't look like it's ray traced at all there's not realistic lighting here you know yeah like it doesn't need to be ultra realistic everywhere but at the same time it's like this looks like generic non-ray trace but then the gun looks phenomenal let me just verify let's take a look at what these settings are 3840 by 2160 triple buffering don't have HDR on because my monitor's HDR is not great. Ray tracing is on. The other thing I really love about this card, and and you have this as well for the 2000 series, is DLSS. I did not have that with the 1080, so knowing that when my card starts to get old and I can't run 4K anymore on brand new games, I can just DLSS them suckers, which is phenomenal. All right, so let's do some. Uh... Let's do some uh, quackartics. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Another classic joke. Um, give me a second, folks. Hold on to your pant holes. Hey, can I ask you a question? Yes. Did you read the Adam Savage book? Uh, Every Tool's a Hammer? Yeah. Yeah. Is it good? Uh yeah, it's not bad. It's it's got a lot of like helpful stuff. Uh huh. That is super helpful, but I wish like I wish the helpful information was then compiled at the very end. So yeah, like look through really fast. Which now that I think about it, it might be. I, I can go grab a cop at my copy if you wanna. Because I got it from the library and I started reading it and I'm in the introduction right now and I'm not crazy about it. This is 35 FPS. Yeah, it's, it's definitely helpful stuff, but um, yeah, it's not like some award-winning written thing. Gotcha. Yeah, let me go check. Resolution scale. That sucks. It's very, um, it's very like shop philosophy tied in with. Yeah, I just helpful stuff. I have all these books so. to read, and I'm like, if I'm not liking it right now, maybe it's worth it. Trying to dial these settings. Yeah. In. Turn off resolution scaling. Yeah, I think that was the thing, and I, I, yeah, I don't see it in here, so I guess it doesn't. Yeah, I just wanted like a thing at the end, so I didn't have to take notes. So I could just be like, oh, this is what he says for this. This is what he says for that. Um, which is weird. I remember that stuff from him by watching his videos a lot better than I did from reading the book. Yeah. Um, for sure. I did get this giant uh, practical electronics for inventors book uh, that I need to read. It's more of a oh, that's like, good. guide, like guide thing. I've been thinking um, about um, getting uh... I'm just trying to figure that's fine. I gotta um, prime my Blade Runner gun tomorrow and then paint it and then I have to there we go. start putting in all the electronics. I've got a job. So this is like ray tracing but it's also NV 
video ray tracing. Uh -oh. oh no. It's trying. I'm trying to dial in. I was getting like 35 frames per second 4K ray tracing while streaming. Go down to graphics settings. Automatic selection. Turn off the sync. Let's see if that helps. Um. Yeah, my tip, my. I'll have to see if I can. 30 FPS. So this is ray tracing, but it's it's very demanding. Like this is like full blown ray tracing, you know. Yeah. Like they are not cheesing it in any ways for performance. Yeah, the way that like it comes off the bullet. Oh is yeah. So good. Some this water down there if you want to go in the water. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, look at that flu. Spaceship. Spaceship. I, I always remember Brad Shoemaker saying, like, the people who aren't impressed with this are the people who were fooled by devs before this came out. Yeah. Like, they, they couldn't tell the difference before. Yeah. Between cinematic. And it's not a bad thing. That just means developers got so good at creating fake light. Um, exactly, yeah. And now, hopefully, as this moves on, like, they don't have to worry about doing that. They can just light things like movies and TV shows and stuff. Yeah, and, and I do remember seeing some developers talk about how ray tracing isn't necessarily a good thing because there are scenes that would not be realistically lit. That they need to fake light, you know. Yeah. And you know, like if you start looking at it, it's not like a film set where you you're only showing a particular angle, you know, so you can hide the lights behind yeah. the camera. These little meat boys. Yeah, like, just look at that reflection on that metal piece. Um, anyways, um... I don't know that I have any other games to show off here. Oh, let me just check something real quick. Yeah, I don't really have anything else to show off. But I think overall I'm pretty happy with the new graphics card. I think it's just... You know, this kicks the can down a couple a couple years down the road. You know, my 1080 was getting long in the tooth. I got a 4K monitor way before I should have. And now I can finally support it fully. And more importantly for streaming. When you stream, it brings down your GPU performance by like, I don't know, what, 10, 15 percent is what it feels like. Sometimes more than that. And so this yeah. is one of those things where I have more overhead now. Where if I'm streaming, it's not going to bring the game down into the camp play it anymore. Um, but yeah, I think that's going to do it. So tomorrow night, uh, Kyle's going to be streaming. I'm not sure yet what he's playing. What has he been playing lately? Uh, Mass Effect Legendary Edition. That's right. He's heading through Mass Effect 2. Thursday, we've got local chat. Should be another banger of an episode. Saturday, the final episode of Spooky Pixel 2021. We're not sure yet what we're going to do, but we'll take a looky loo. Thank you guys so much for joining us. He's at Hunt270 on Twitter. I'm at Think Gibson on Twitter, and we are at Subpixel Team on Twitter, Facebook, Twitch, Instagram, and TikTok. You can also find us at subpixelfilms.com. Takes you right to our YouTube page, which has all of our stream archives, all of our edited content. We've got some great stuff up there. We just had a new documentary about Skatebird, which is uh, an indie Game Pass game. It just came out, kind of a Twitter darling, made during the era of the pandemic by a uh, developer that was already full remote anyways. Uh, so kind of a prescient move there before the pandemic um all sorts of great stuff subpixelfilms.com give us a follow give us a like thank you guys so much for watching will any closing words i love light <laughs>